Greetings, Padawans. The Focus Dojo MMA.com. Focus Dojo MMA.com. Doing some karate go jujitsu. The first five of the initial essential 15 self defense things that you're really going to need that all beginning students in all martial arts should do. All martial arts, because in my 23 off and on years of bouncing experience and, and life and traveling, these are the most common attacks that you will see, and it's escalating levels of force. You don't always want to deal with something if someone has a finger face so they just grab you versus when they're actually punching and attacking. You. And sometimes people start off as one thing, you de-escalate them if you can, be a good moral person, but if they attack, they punch, then you deal with it a little bit differently, right? But you don't, you, no one tells you what they're going to do. So you have to be ready, and by repping these, a beginner student can get good at this. In my style, karate go jujitsu, I think I'm going to make it so the essential 15 you have to know and have it down pretty darn good six months into your training to test for yellow belt, to go white at three months, orange, and then at six months testing for your yellow belt. So um, number 10 after five years will be black belt. So you have to get these down. We're gonna do the first five today. Uh, this is kind of triggered a little bit by Lenny Slide. did a really awesome lock flow series. If you wanna add a little keto, to check out the Rogue Warriors on YouTube, the Rogue Warriors, Lenny Sly came up with a really awesome thing, putting kind of essential eight to 10 techniques together. So it's kind of fast and more live training for the Aikido world, but stuff that you can, I use six out of the 10 techniques he showed, I use fairly often. And the other four I should probably add to my repertoire for my toolbox. Uh, guys, this video is brought to you by 1776united.com. Check out this nice shirt they sent me. Thank you very much, 1776 United. Let's get down to some business, guys, here. So now I'm going to put the camera down, and you're going to see my attacker go through five common attacks. They don't always start. They might start with a guy on the street that, you know, he's out of his mind. Or they might start with a guy in a bar in your face. They don't always just start swinging on you, but, you know, they might. They might escalate really quickly, especially if they're on drugs and they're uh, kind of crazy. So here we go, guys. Take one step back, that way. Stop right there. Take one step forward, I lied. Stop right there, and now we're gonna go. Dude, chill out, man, chill out. Chill out, man. Chill out, dude. Chill out. Let go of that leg, man. Let go. Let go. Let go. I said let go. Okay, we're going to chill here to the cops come. We're going to chill here to the cops come. We're going to try and get out. No, no, no. You ain't going nowhere, man. You ain't going nowhere. Okay guys, so there's one through five guy, points finger in the face, guy grabs you, sometimes you just code against him a little bit, try and de-escalate it, tell him to leave, get him up on one foot so he can't really swing the power with his opposite hand, go in that throat notch. If I gotta finish code against you, take him down all the way, I really will. So every time we do it, it might be a bit, a bit different. That's realism, that's escalation, depending on how you can de-escalate the guy or not. Uh, then the guy sucker punches you. Sometimes people get in your face, ask for the time, and they might just throw. You gotta know what to do. You do some pottery defense there because it picks up all angles of attack really well for very, very close range only. Um, and also, if it was a slash of your neck, the back of your hands uh, fend it pretty well. And five, someone's, hey, I'm talking to you. Get back here, grabs your shoulder. Hit that Osoto, squeeze that throat, and do some kind of armbar. So, we will go through it again, maybe showing the other side. So you're gonna face the other direction. Right there, stop. Go forward a foot, stop, okay. Whoa, dude, get that finger out of my face. Dude, told you back up, man, back up, man. Back up. Huh, we got a problem here? You need to chill out, we need to chill out. You gonna chill out? Good. Hey, 
What are you grabbing me for? You gonna chill out, man? You need to leave? Huh? Yeah, I'll say, like, if you can't have this range on somebody, what is it? Stand up. Keep your balance better. I'll make you fall. Give up, man. Give up. You gonna chill out? You gonna chill out? Drop it. Drop it. All right, we're gonna stay here. You gotta, you gotta think about your behavior, okay? You gotta think about behavior. Hey, no, you ain't going nowhere until the cops come. Wrap around, not intertwining when you do not want to intertwine her face. Wrap around his head, at the base of his neck. Right where that you step back, you're more of a pushing up against him. You're pulling his head down into your chest. Okay guys, so that is one through five of the essential 15. Uh, maybe I'll go through it. I'll go through it slow one time. Let me go through it slowly. He can block them. face. Maybe he gets sick of it. We go for the Uvidori this way. Okay. Boom. I'm going to take this back that way. If I really want to just break it fast, I can go up if I have enough power. I know how to snap it this way next to break it somewhere along there. But it's here. I'm going to take him down this direction. Go to knee on belly. Flip this over as I switch. To uh, double wishbone. Double wishbone sucks. Anyone's gonna comply. Do what I want you to do. Five knees from the Number two, he starts pointing, and then maybe he makes a mistake of grabbing. Get him up on one foot a little bit. If you need to, just talk him out, de-escalate, and say, "Get the hell away." And just push him out of there in the neck notch. You're gonna leave. You leave. If he resists, you need to take him down. You take him down. So here, back off, man. Back off. Back off. Dude, chill out, man. Chill out. Do something a little more like that. Okay? Number four, he asked for the times. Some crazy guy just sucker punches you on the street. You don't know which hand, you don't know what line. This picks it up, even up the center line. If it's out of the one hand, he's going to throw it for you. And how would I just surprise Guillotine and get out of there. Maybe I don't choke him out all the way, but I'm gonna take his will to fight out of it and catch his multiple opponents. I might choke him out all the way and then dump him carefully, depending on the situation, if he has a weapon or not. I'll snap him down if there's uh, multiples with him and get the F out of there. And maybe I de escalated with a wrist lock, something I thought he had left. He comes back, I drop my guard, I turn my back, I shouldn't do that. But he comes back, hey, I'm talking to you, I'm not done with you yet. He comes and does one of those. I'm gonna lift up, take my big step into a front stance. My hips gotta be lower than his. Eagle claw is through. We'll sort of bury this leg. Choke him out. And I want him Okay? So, that so guys, that's the first five of the essential 15. They escalate up. It goes full on until they start swinging bombs on you and they're gonna get an outside leg trip, take them down, do BJJ, BJJ, get them out, take the back, choke them out. Um, I have another advanced 15 after that and I'll probably come up with a third more advanced 15 after that maybe then dealing with the stuff that actually works fairly high percentage somewhat against sticks and can help save you. Uh, die less often against a knife. Uh, jam and punch, dog catcher, to two Russian two on one, things of that nature. Anyway guys, so thanks to 1776, I got some cool swag. And uh, check out Lenny Slide, the RogueWarriors.com. He got his nice lock flow series. I'm going to push him to keep up coming up with the next one. And he's going to push me. And maybe all these YouTube channels can start pushing each other to come up with more realistic stuff that actually works on the streets. Uh, you know, because you don't always just start going and banging and throwing hands. You know, that's not the best way. So you have to know the whole escalation of force depending on how... Uh, situation, every situation is different, but you gotta be ready. You could start as something he thinks nothing and he just throws or he just stabs at you, whatever. You gotta be prepared for everything. Please subscribe and thumbs up and I'll catch you on the flip side.